For me, the standout talk had to be all of the updates to workflows. HubSpot have really, really focused on the end user, bringing in just more intelligent logic, better automation, just to make workflows more usable. And it's that focus on the end user that I think makes HubSpot something really special to be a part of. Probably the best talk that stood out for me um, was the talk on how to build a content strategy to help with customer retention. Um, it was all about educating your audience. Education leads to empowerment, which makes your f readers feel like they're getting something out of your content. They're not feeling dumb. They know what you're talking about and they can use what you have to say to answer their own problems. I really enjoyed a talk uh, introducing new custom objects uh, in HubSpot. Um, basically, they'll allow you to personalize the platform even more. And the talk could have been like a bit boring, very technical, or difficult to understand, but the speaker was so good. He was like so enthusiastic about it. Um, he was genuinely excited and so it made me excited about it as well um, and it looks like uh, we're going to be able to do loads of great stuff for our clients with that. Maybe a bit predictable but the Brian Halligan and uh, Damesh uh, keynote about the new product developments, I think that's really exciting to see how even though they've got such a product dominant position in mid and large market in terms of what HubSpot can actually do compared with the competitors. They're not satisfied with that and um, they want to go further, they want to do more, they're adding more features and they're definitely now um, after that enterprise level. The most interesting talk I've been to was probably the critical email marketing techniques uh, to stand out, especially due to the pandemic, you know, everyone's email inboxes are cluttered these days and it's really exciting to see some of the new workflow features uh, being released that will make our jobs easier. I thought it was really interesting hearing more about the product updates from HubSpot, in particular things like custom objects, which will enable us to target and segment contacts to a more granular level. Um, and also the restructuring of the pricing. Uh, from October, they're introducing marketing contacts, so you only be charged for the contacts that you're actively marketing to rather than your whole CRM, uh, which will make a big difference, especially to a lot of our bigger clients. I have just watched a fantastic piece uh, by Nancy Harhut on the 10 scientific secrets that make your content impossible to ignore. And there were 10 principles, um, a couple of them flowed into each other and they all made absolute sense. There's nothing majorly new there, but having them set out in that way really helped to um, clarify how you look at writing a piece of content. One of the key takeaways I found from Inbound 2020 was around the theory of reciprocity and that your users and consumers aren't going to do something for nothing. So you really need to make sure you're giving them something in return for whatever action that might be, big or small. I think one of the highlights for me was probably the help with transitioning sales to online where they might previously not have been and the importance of an empathetic sales process. It's not just about giving information, it's creating the positive customer experience that keeps people coming back and creates trust and engagement uh, ultimately resulting hopefully in more business. These talks and 2020's impact really highlighted key takeaways around how we interact with and get seen by our audiences, particularly how quickly Google is able to respond to changes in searching behaviour and how there's been an increased preference from our audiences towards content with a personal touch. At Inbound 2020 this year I really enjoyed the talk on applying uh, cognitive behavioural approaches to sales coaching. I thought it was really interesting to see the thought processes that go into actually selling and marketing that we don't necessarily associate with that as we're always focusing on the buyer's journey and their decision processes. I learned a few bits on how HubSpot uh, can help you with managing your website, how to migrate your website from another CMS onto HubSpot and what kind of features are available there. HubSpot, well done you guys. You've done a grand job on putting on a great virtual event, so hats off to you.